Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode in my snack size series. In this episode we're going to have a quick look at enumeration and how we can use it and the switch uh, node to help us solve more complex branching uh, blueprints. So enumeration, what is it? Enumeration is essentially making your own custom list. Uh, that you can then use to uh, set certain uh, statuses or variables onto actors in your game. So let's do an example and show you how to make one of these. So you want to go on add new and in the blueprint section you'll see enumeration and you can see from the little thumbnail that it's one two three it's like a list okay and that's essentially what it is. So I'm just going to call my test enumeration and when you open one up it looks quite plain, it's not much going on, it's nice and easy really. All you have to do is click on the new button on the right hand side to add a new option in your list. So I'm going to put one in as red, this one as amber, and this one as green. Okay, and you can have as many as you like, and you can put a little description in there if you want to uh, help comment your code. With the enumeration list done, you can close that and now let's test this out so I'm gonna make a new actor so make a new blueprint class new actor test uh, test actor and open him up okay so how do we use the enumeration well the enumeration is sim simply you're making your own variable type so if you're going to, if you go into your variables and click the plus symbol and you can call it status I guess and the variable type, we li literally just type in the name of our enumeration. So my one's called test enumeration. And when I compile it, you can see I can set any one of those options in the drop down. Okay, so how do we actually make this useful? Well, imagine if this was a traffic light system, okay? Let's actually quick make, make a traffic light system actually. So let's put a light in there. Uh, point light. And that'll do compile so we're gonna make a little tra uh, little traffic light system using this uh, status numerator so on my event graph or construction script I in this case I'm gonna do construction script um, I'm going to use that status to change the color of my switch uh, of my point light and the way I'm going to do that is by using the switch node so if I drag the status out I can choose get status and I can use switch and you can see here, I get three branching paths, one for each of my statuses. This is a good alternative to other options such as uh, using a load of branching uh, nodes. So branch onto a branch onto a branch, uh, so, so on and so forth. Uh, this is very simple and it's a lot easier, a lot quicker for the computer to run as well. Um, so the constru construction script sorry, is going to take in the status and it's going to go down a different path based on the enumeration. An important thing about switching, switch you can do on quite a lot of different things. Um, if we right click you can type in switch and you can see there's some default ones on here. So you can do switch on int and you can add different uh, values into it. So you can add 0, 1, 2, 3 and so forth. The default pin basically means if it's none of these it will do this. So imagine if let's say you've got a um, number of players being a integer that will go into here and you may have uh, no players one player two three four players and if it's none of the players or too many or too little it will go down in default and you can make it do different things based on those players okay so you can make it spawn different type, number of en um, enemies or whatever okay so let's go back to our traffic light Okay, so I've got my status going into my switch, red, amber, and green. And now I'm going to affect the point light's color. So I'm affecting the point light, so I drag the point light out. And I can access its color. Set light color. And I can set the light color to different values here. So red, like so. And I can quickly copy and paste this again and again changing the color to each one I want amber and finally green 
Okay, and the point light is going to be the target for each one of these. Click compile, and now I want this to be accessible to the editor so I can actually change it on the fly. I click on my status and I want to instance editable, and a little eyeball will open up next to the status uh, variable. After compiling, I can go back into the game, I can drag this test actor out. And by default it will be red because that's the default status. But here I can change the status from red to amber or to green. Okay, That's a very simple uh, demonstration of how the switch works and enumeration works. If you have any comments uh, you want to leave behind, please, please do so be, uh, down below. If you want any questions about enumeration or the switching or if you have any particular one cases that you can think of uh, for your own games, please leave them uh, in the comments below. If you like this video and want to support me just like these people, please follow the link to Patreon in the description below to support me and get access to videos two weeks earlier, plus loads of other exclusive benefits. I've been Ryan Lady, thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.